Well, you know, since last year, we indicated that um, we will be starting our credit union. This was part of a plan that was developed by me 20 years ago as part of the City West 2010 plan. And um, we started, we, we commenced construction of a, uh, of, um, a building. Uh, we were supposed to have um, casted uh, the floor last week, but hopefully this week we'll have it casted. It's about a 4,000 square feet building. And in addition to that, we got Fair Hill to do our business plan last year. Uh, we tried to reserve the name the People's Cooperative Credit Union. The FSRC said at the time that they do not reserve um, names. So, you know, we took our own good time and um, completed the application. Unfortunately, by the time we file our completed application, the UPP decided to file an incomplete application with the same name, hmm. the People's Cooperative Credit Union. And we know they're doing it to create strife. We know that um, they don't have the capacity to establish... Uh, I, 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 are you telling me, Mr. Prime Minister, that they basically stole the name, so to speak, then, to use a colloquial yes. term, or use our local yes. vernacular? And, you know, the consistency <laughs> of our use of um, people, um, you know, the party, uh, the party headquarters, we call it the People's Place, hmm. and uh, we have the People's Flag. So I thought, you know, we could have the People's um, Credit Union, hmm. And uh, they ran with it. They stole the name. So I've taken a position, you know, we're not going to fight them. Let them go. Uh, because at the end of the day, they're not going to start anything. Hmm. And uh, our project is pretty advanced. We have about $1.5 million in in pledges. So I hope we'll be able to collect um, all the funds so that we can have a good start to help people to repair the homes. That is the primary objective of this um, credit union. Hmm. And uh, we... we uh, likely to change the name to National Cooperative Credit Union so they can go file again and file for change the name to National Cooperative Credit Union. Let me see how obstreperous they are, you know, how disgusting they are, because at the end of the day, they're just here to create confusion. They don't have any works. They bring no value to the table. They just continue to just make noise and to create confusion within the society. Mm -hmm. Somebody actually sent us a message the other day, a, a quite a foolish message too. The person was saying um, uh, they would want you to explain about the credit union, the building of the credit union in City West, because they understand that it is in your name. It is your business, and you're looking into starting your own thing like a bank, a credit union. But is it, uh, credit unions, are they, are they comprised of the members who are the owners? Correct. They are owned. Um, it's a corporate entity. When I say cooperative entity. Not a corporation, as in a limited liability company, and it will be owned by the members. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you are limited in terms of the amount of shares that you can purchase. So, no one person can go and buy, let's say, fifty percent or ninety percent of the shares. Uh, so, this is a truly, uh, um, let's say, empowering um, initiative in which um, the monies of the the um, depositors, the depositors are shareholders, actually. So this idea that it belongs to me personally is nonsense. 